<laughs> you never know when to give up. It's so harsh, isn't it, to introduce a beautiful new character and then to have her tragically die. To have a mother and father find their child, a grandfather find his granddaughter, bonded, come back together again, and then to have her killed. It's so tragic. I love you so much. Ben. They set up the family dynamic so much, and there's so much love by the third episode, and it all happens so quickly. And, and there's this beautiful moment we're all driving off in the car together, finally sort of at peace with our, within our own family at least. And then it all just gets taken away <laughs> for the episode. It's the most unfair thing in the world for this couple to find each other and have a baby who was very loved and then have that entire experience with her stripped away. Ed, uh, you know, tragically, unfortunately, George dies. And, I, you know, I would imagine that it sort of shuts Olivia back down emotionally. You know, one, two, and three has been Olivia taking those tentative steps. Like, she's slow. She's a slow burn. Finally, 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 to kind of, like, going, OK, I'm going to accept and love this, to Edda then dying. I think that would just be the straw that breaks her back. And I think that would just send her. I don't know which way it's going to send her. And Peter, I just don't think, has the emotional capability to process that loss. So, you know, I think he sort of goes man on fire style. And I think part of him wanted to probably die when the baby died. Not only does it mean that they don't have their daughter with them anymore, but it also means that the Fringe team is kind of on their own. Edda was the protector, and she was the person that was able to lead them. You have to leave. It is heartbreaking, and I feel very lucky that they've given me such a brave, heroic death. But I, I just feel so bad for Peter and Olivia because I just think the grief of losing a child, that's the hardest thing to have to deal with. I haven't read any of the scripts after that, but it'll be interesting to see how they end up dealing with that and, and their relationship once that happens. It's just a really, a really sad part of the story, but I think that it's probably necessary. He's gone, son. We have to go. It is the grief of the parents and the grandfather, the grief, the incredible grief that they feel that drives them in different ways. So uh, episode five, it's, it's just all of these characters driven in their own way by their incredible grief and sadness into action, different actions. And I think it's, it's beautifully written and, and it's a character study for us as, as to how people respond to grief. It, so that subtext should play through the whole episode and I think it's, uh, I think it's going to be a beautiful episode.